Deploying the latest version of Adobe Reader is a bit more complicated than what you've done so far. Adobe usually offers EXEs for the .0 releases, that is 11.0.0 for example, and every 10th release, or 11.0.10. The rest of the versions, 11.0.1 or 11.0.2, are delivered in MSP format, so there's no way for us to deploy them with group policy. So if you wanted to deploy the latest version of Reader, which at this moment is 11.0.14, you would need to download the latest executable from the Adobe Reader FTP site, extract the exe, extract the extracted files, patch in the MSP files, and then transfer those files to your shared drive and deploy them with group policy. Now a lot of people struggle with this, but it's really not as bad as it sounds. So let's get into it and I'll show you how it's done. Open your preferred web browser and navigate to ftp.adobe.com forward slash pub slash adobe slash reader slash win. The latest version, like I said before, is 11.0.14. So I'm going to open the 11.x folder. I'm going to open the 11.0.10 since that is the 10th release and that would be the latest executable download. And I'm going to navigate to en underscore us and I'm going to download Adobe Reader 11.0.10 enus.exe. Next I'm going to navigate back and go to the 11.0.14 slash misc folder since this is the latest version that's available at this point in time. Now I'm going to download the Adobe Reader Update 11.0.14.msp file. Now that I have both files downloaded, I'm going to transfer them onto my domain controller and I'm going to place them in the same folder. I'm going to choose the C drive in a folder called Adobe 11.0.14 Deployment. Once that is complete, I'm going to open command prompt and I'm going to cd into that path. Now I'm going to run the following command and just as a little bit of side information, I'm going to be using something called tab completion. And it's when you press the tab button, if you've typed in, let's say you're on the C drive and there's a folder called test and you type in TE and you press tab, tab completion will go ahead and put in the ST so it'll complete the word for you. So you're going to see me using that. So when I'm typing and all of a sudden it just fills in the information, I'm pressing tab. Now if there was a folder called test and another folder called test2 and I press tab, it would first go to test and then the next time I press tab it would go to test2. So you can kind of cycle through items in the directory. Just a little side information that'll make your life a lot easier when you're typing in these long commands. So this is a command you need to type in. A D B E rdr11010 underscore en underscore us dot exe space dash nos underscore ne space dash nos underscore o and then no space quotation marks c colon backslash adobe space 11014 space deployment backslash Adobe space 11014 space AIP end quotation mark. Run that command and notice this has extracted the exe. Now we need to extract the extracted files. Go back to command prompt and cd to the newly extracted files inside of the Adobe 11014 AIP folder. Type in the following command. MSI EXEC stands for MSI exec space forward slash a space open quotation marks acro read dot msi end quotation mark execute that and when the installer begins click through the prompts and choose an installation path i'm going to choose c adobe reader 11014 and i'm going to use underscores instead of spaces click install and once the setup is complete close the window in command prompt CD to the directory where you store the MSP file. Once you're in that directory, type in the following command. MSI exec space forward slash a space open quotation mark C Adobe Reader 11014 slash acro read dot MSI end quotation marks space forward slash p space open quotation marks, Adobe Reader Update 11014.msp, end quotation marks. Enter the command and click next to the setup wizard and wait for it to finish. Once that's complete, open Windows Explorer and navigate to the C Adobe Reader 1114 directory. 
Double click on acroread.msi and check the version to verify it reads 11.0.14. And here we can see it does. So now we have an MSI, when we run it, it will install the latest version of Adobe Reader. Perfect. Now we need to copy this new folder, the Adobe Reader 11014 folder, to our share drive where we deploy MSIs from. Once you're done with that, open Server Manager, click Tools, Group Policy Management, and edit the software installation GPO that we've been using for the last few lectures. Now like we've done before, we need to add the AcroRead MSI file to the list of deployed packages. So navigate to Software Installations, right click and select New Package, select the new MSI and choose Assigned. Hit OK and we can see the new package has been assigned. Now it's time to log into our workstations and test to see if the software is actually installed and to see if it's 11.0.14 or if it'll come up as 11.0.10. Log into one of your workstations and open command prompt and run a gp update forward slash force. Reboot when you are prompted. Once the reboot is complete, log back into the workstation. There we can see that Adobe Reader is on the desktop, so that's great, installed. But is it the latest version? So start up Adobe Reader, and right away we can see the version here is 11.0.14, which is great. So if you want, you can log all the way in and click on Help and About Adobe Reader, and you can double check the version again. But here we can see that we have installed Adobe Reader at the latest version. Great job on that, and I will see you in the next lecture.